What's up guys? Sorry about last video's intro. I know it was a bit of a stretch and because of that me and Noah are going to issue you a written apology. <laughs> Noah, can you grab a pen? Excellent. Here you go. Today, product. today we're doing the I doing equivalent for the Civic. Now, this is a full seven inch Android Tesla replica screen type thing fitted for our Civic specifically. That's the coolest part. It's built into the shell where all the vents and the controls for the uh, climate control go. It's gonna be epic. Now, the iDoing in my 2015 Subaru WRX that we made a video on was north of $400. This one on eBay for basically the same product, if not more, was 140. This is gonna be sweet. Okay, so. Well, we hope so. We hope so. Well, yeah, <laughs> watch it not work. Bummer. We got cables. This is another cool thing that was not included with the iDoing, a full backup camera set. We will do this in the next video. It's gonna be epic. Bow. Here's another cable. I don't know what that's for. This is your AV cable, so you can hook up your PS2 or GameCube to it, and you can play it on the go. I think I might. All right, here we go. Ready? <clears throat> Who? Bruh. Get out of the package, you flaming. And here is the U-pad. <laughs> Get it? Like <laughs> iPad, but it's not Apple. Oh, it's the Wii U. Oh, fuck. For my car. <laughs> Giant fucking pad. That thing's huge. And this piece of trim fits perfectly in the Civic, supposedly. So what we're gonna have to do is transfer the vents over, transfer the heating control things over, transfer the defrost and AC buttons, transfer the hazards, I think that is. We're gonna watch our podcast on this, just like you should, on whatever device you're on now. You guys like satisfying, r slash satisfying. I should probably put that back on. We haven't done anything yet. R slash satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> Step one, get the old one out. This is gonna be easy because we purposefully did not put in the bottom two screws last time we put in a stereo. It's gonna be high. Oh my God, is that the sun? I've never seen that in one of our videos before. No, you wanna go touch some grass? You fucking gamer. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, dude, tell me what it feels like. What the fuck is this? <laughs> never seen anything like it. <laughs> Ow, fuck! <laughs> my keys are literally what is satan that's who did it go to church guys then this won't happen to you we're working outside today because i'm working on someone else's gti i will never buy a german thing i literally hate them it's taken me like 12 hours just to replace a fucking water pump and the replacement water pump is just as bad as the original it's made of plastic yeah that's what you want your 200 degree coolant going through fuck off now this whole thing is what it's replacing all of this which is cool Luckily, normally you have to take out the whole center console and then get to two screws up under this plate. I purposefully did not put those back in, but if you want to see how to do it, if you're working with your stock system or you have a stock system stolts in there, you can click on this video. One of these corners, there's gonna be a little link and that's where you're gonna find the little thing to the original time we took this out. <clears throat> this is gonna be super simple because you just cram this up under here. Yahoo! You know? Oh my God. Now, one thing I'm really excited about this new stereo with is that we have actual sub controls now, ideally, so we can control exactly what the subs do and they'll probably sound better. So here we go. I'm unplugging these, our sub speaker wires. Click here if you want to see us putting a sub. There's our hazards. Help, look at that. That was so simple because I didn't have to take all of this out. I love my job. I'm gonna see. I'll see you at the bench. Our bench today will be my smoker because my current bench is taken up by GTI parts. Look at this, just a bunch of screws. Super simple. Stop. No. Stop. Dude. This might be a short video because this looks extremely easy. I say as this what doesn't come out. All right, guys, here's the first thing you need to know. To get this climate control thing out, you gotta pull the knobs off. They are not in any particular order. They are all the same. 
and the way that they are facing is maintained by the flat side of these controls. Not real difficult. Okay, we've gotten to the point where we do actually have to pry some stuff out. These just slide out the back. I just lost the piece that holds it in here. I found it. It goes like this. It literally just gets set on there and then slides into that little nook. Other one is the same story. Now, the hazard button has two clips. One there, one there. You squeeze them, either with your fingers or something else, and then just push it through the front. Last thing, these little rings. You need those to know what you're doing with your climate. Those are also clips, tiny little push tabs. You need to be careful, because that's gonna be big sad if you fuck it up. You can see here, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Be very, very careful. I'm gonna use my fingers. You can see me here using my fingers, pushing them in and then gently through. Super simple. Now, obviously keep track of where they go. Here's our new one. Looks like there's tabs to kind of line it up. I will now gently line up the ridges and push it into place. Click, clack, cluck, fuck. Oh, something just went flying. Ooh, that did not sound good. No, I just broke it. That sucks. Okay, this is a tight fit. This is where the price begins to show itself. These little ridges are ever so slightly too wide. So when you're doing this, be really careful because it doesn't like to fit right. There's number two. I just had to break that hook off because this uncut piece of plastic snapped it. Nice. Yeah, so the quality is showing itself because now that's sticking out goofy, just like this one. So the craftsmanship leaves a little bit to be desired. Let's try this last one. Third time's a charm. <laughs> well, this one snapped in, but our other one snapped out. You see that? Yeah. That was pretty cool. Maybe I did it wrong. There is a possibility that I fucked it up and it was me. But I'm also gonna say that there is a possibility that this was not designed properly. And I'm gonna go with that option in court because these guys are getting sued. We are now done with this old piece. We'll now begin the very careful reinstall. I'm gonna do vents first. Put it in this side first, all the way. Hold it in place, push this in, slide it in. That appears to be in properly. Now this side, there it is. Now we're gonna put our little hazard homie in there, very carefully once again. And then we're gonna get our vent cover. All right, we are to the first step of actual reassembly. Now, if you're gonna use a power tool to do this, be super careful that you don't over tighten these, because if you do, you might crack something and it won't fit right. So you are cutting new threads in this plastic. So you do need some downward force to get these to go in properly. This is why you leave the screen protector on because you're putting some force on there and you wouldn't want to scratch it. We still have a little bit of wiggle, but I don't want to break anything. So at this point, now that I have the threads cut, I am going to grab a regular Phillips screwdriver and tighten them all the way down. Bottom line of climate controls. Let's go, baby. That is everything for the reassembly. This is the ultra fun part where we see how plug and play this truly is. Okay, guys, I have good news. It is plug and play. We have this blue plug that goes into the OEM blue plug. And then this goes here on the back of the head unit. These plugs over here are for like add-ons like a camera and stuff like that. This other cable that it comes with, this is for a different version of the car, I'm pretty sure. It's got two different factory plugs that we don't have. Oh, <gasps> Android is starting. That's not my car, I don't have a Tesla. Bluetooth, DPS equalizer, Navi, Google Maps, gallery, Navi. Hello. Get it? <laughs> Legend of Zelda, YouTube. <gasps> That's cool. One, nine, nine, two, she... 
Last time it was Russian. Now it's in English. That's cool, except the box had all kinds of Chinese on it. I think I'm adding this to my sleep playlist. This shit slaps. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait. When I push those, they don't come back. Uh oh. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll see what happens with that. It looks nice. That's pretty cool. All right, guys. So it works. However, there is no Apple CarPlay or Android Auto currently on it. That is what the iDoing has over this. iDoing does in fact make a version of the stereo for this car from what I've seen. However, I'm assuming it comes at the higher price point. So I'm going to work over the next little while to figure out how to get uh, some kind of CarPlay on this. But yeah, if I can get it to work before this video goes up, I will add it to this video. And if I cannot get it to work, I will let you guys know in the next video when we do the backup camera. So with all that being said, would I recommend this? I don't know yet. Might be worth the extra money to just get Apple CarPlay. But in terms of everything else, like it works, I can connect my phone over Bluetooth and that works fine. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our podcast. Uh, there'll be a link in the description for that. Check out our gaming channel. There'll be a link in the description for that as well. And uh, yeah.